Hey, man. You there? I'm uh, I'm gonna be gone for a while. I'm gonna need you to cover me. This kid's just gonna wonder why I'm not out on Marsh duty or whatever the hell. Hey, Deke. What's up? Boozers, uh, hell. He's depressed or something. Talk to Addy. I think I know a way to cheer him up. So, what are you gonna do? Uh, I thought I'd maybe head to O'Leary Mountain to get his bike. That's a long way to go on foot. Figure something out. Are you, are you gonna cover for me or what? Yeah. Thanks, Ricky. Deacon out. O'Brien, I'm at one of your beacons, the one near Camp Creek. Uh, there's nothing here. Hold on. Uh, okay. A field op should be there any minute. You know the drill. O'Brien out. Yeah, I know the drill. Try not to get my ass shot off while being your goddamn peeping Tom. St. John out. Yeah, so what was that all about? I mean, last time we talked, it sounded like you were pissing your hazmat suit. It's nothing like I told you. There are people above me who don't want us to know what's going on. I got too close. I was going to call You know what? I don't give a shit. All I want from you is information on Sarah. Whitaker, I've got someone working on it. It's, it's going to take time. I guess you have to be patient. Hmm? Yeah. Well, not like I got a lot of choice here, do I? This research group isn't part of my unit, so I can't track them after this op. I need you to... Place a tracker on their chopper. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Oh, and you want me to spy on the guy wearing the white spacesuit? Yeah, anything else? Yeah, try not to get your ass shot off. Your, uh, com was still open before. Don't think there's, like, me looking at Tom. More like, I'm sorry. There you go. A bunch of ten soldiers marching in a row. Jesus. Okay. Yep. That's right. Clear. You boys go on right, a business. Now. Don't mind me. You got any of those MREs in the chopper? Are you complaining again? Anyone else hear that? Like a lot of freaks around in Rock. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen so many. Who's there? Oh, here we go. 2068. Another subject exhibiting a morphology of stage 2 infection. The tendons in the hands and fingers are less constricted, fingernails less claw like, as if recently chewed. Additionally, the subject is wearing jewelry and clothing less tattered and worn than... Sorry. Couldn't help overhearing. Ah, the gun-toting biology major. Yeah, something like that. So, it's wearing jewelry. What's the significance of that? Things have been out here for two years, scratching and clawing at us and each other. Yeah. Try putting a gold watch on a baboon for two years. Set it loose in the wild and see what happens to it. Okay, okay, I get going. This watch looks new. Really? So? So, that means this subject has either taken care of it, or has...
just recently... Recently put it on? Shit, I thought they were all, you know... That shit crazy? Yeah, they are, but... Just as some late-stage dementia patients could still have moments of lucidity, victims of stage 2 virus infections seem to retain some level of vestigial memory. Oh, shit. No shit. Look at its clothes. They're... Almost clean, right? Might be a drifter I mean, in the not LZ. not clean, but... Most freaks are so caked with shit and piss. It's disgusting. Yeah, well, again, they're fans of that for two years. Jesus. You ever wonder why there's so many more freaks in areas where people used to live? I thought about it. Yeah, I guess they do. Yeah, we think there might still be something very deep in their massively deformed heads that remembers what they once were. Jesus, you don't think they're aware of No. No, we've done the CT scans. They might as well be brain dead in human terms. What's that mean? I don't know. That's what we're here to find out. Well, what it means is that some freaks get up in the morning, they shower, they get dressed, they put on their favorite gold watch, they kiss their wife goodbye, and then they head out the door for a fun day of eating us and shitting themselves. Why the hell are these guys wasting their time with this shit? Hope you got all that, O'Brien. Okay, now I just gotta get the hell out of here. Wasn't even my turn on the duty roster. Complain to the seal? Huh? I look like the seal. O'Brien, are you there? O'Brien! Hold on. The guy's only... You stop! Yeah, I don't You're want to entering a quarantine area! Just gotta get the hell out of here. O'Brien, oh, are you there? O'Brien! Oh, Hold on. Yeah, I'm here. I planted your tracking device and I got your data. Shit, it's cold. The researcher, was it male or female? What? What? Why? Was it a man or a woman? Uh, it was a woman, and no, I didn't catch your name. Are you there? Yeah, dude. How you doing, brother? Same as always. You still out there chasing choppers? Yeah. I figure out what the hell they're up to yet. Not a clue. What O'Brien told me seems legit. Nero's out here, or they're running field missions, studying the freaks. No idea why. Hey, I gotta get going. Schizo stopped by and he said I'd be shoveling shit all day. Tell Schizo to eat shit. Yeah. Pass that along. Later. That should be it. Ada Tucker to Deacon St. John. Come in. Deke, you out there? Hey, Tuck. Uh, you got a job for me? Okay. I'll swing by. Deacon out. Can use this. When you get time, 
Swing by the camp, a job's come up. Ricky, yeah. Okay, I'll be by. St. John out. Hey, I brought you something. Wait, what the fuck? You you went up and got my bike? Well, I didn't want Cope getting it, parting it out. Jesus, Dick. Hey, I mean, I mostly did it, you know, in case I need parts. It's not like your gimp ass is gonna need them. Shit. Thanks, brother. That's the one thing I miss. Riding on the open road. Daddy just wanted me to tell you that she paid some men to go get your bike and bring it back. It's over at the mechanic's shop. Oh, wait, what? You're welcome, Deke. Ricky out. Move it. Deke, I'm really worried. Uh, Ricky, what's up? The Butler twins, Abigail and Gabby. No idea you know them? It. No, but uh, I seen them around. What's 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 going on? What's wrong? They went out fishing yesterday, and they didn't come back. Well, the lake sure is pretty safe so long as they stay out of the marsh. That's just it. They weren't at Lost Lake. They went east, over to the Metolius River. The hell were they thinking? Okay, all right, yeah, I'll uh, I'll see if I can find them. Deacon, thank you so much. Here for your bike? Who the hell's my ranch? Just looking around. Your bike definitely needs some work, man. Uh, check back later, I guess. Oh, look at all this piling up. Later, Deke. Gonna be here late.
What else can you tell me? Before everything went to hell, the girl's family had a fishing site that they always used to go to. I marked it on your map. Okay, I'll start there. Digging out. Okay, the girls went fishing. Oh, shit. Marauders, Jesus. One of the camps can use this. with me. No, no! No! I can make it myself! I can! Okay, go! Go! That did it.
Deacon St. John. Hey, Cope, what's up? Hey, come on Just checking in. Come on, my men were up at the top of the very mountain of the shot. They found a safe house set up in an old Forest Service watchtower. Is that right? Yes, sir, that's what I'm told. They said it was abandoned, but funny thing. Whoever lived there left behind a bike. Good shape, too, by the sound of it. Really? Indeed. That's not the funny thing. The funny thing is they went back up there today to pick it up, but... Bye. Okay, uh, you were saying? Indeed. That's not the funny thing. The funny thing is they went back up there today to pick it up, but the bike was gone. Now, ain't that a hit scratcher? Look, Cope is so really fascinating, but, uh... Now, hold on. Here's the fascinating part. They swear that old bike, well, looked a lot like the one Boozer used to ride. Okay, so let me get this straight, Cope. You guys went up to O'Leary Mountain. You found what you thought was Boozer's bike. And the first thing you thought of was, hey, why don't we just go back and steal it? Salvage, Dick. Salvage. But no, that was my second thought. My first was, whatever happened to old loser? Manny says he hasn't seen him around for some time. I don't know, Cope. Next time I see him, I'll let him know how much you miss him. St. John out! <laughs> There, there. <laughs> Ray Ray and the best to kill me if they get the chance. <sighs> Ricky, I found her alive. Deacon, thank God. Look. She wouldn't come with me, so you gotta send someone who knows her, okay? She's on her way back to camp. Okay. All right, okay. Ricky out. <laughs> Down you go! Yeah, I'm on you. You told me what you'd done. Saving Gabby and all, I just... <laughs> just wanted to thank you. I've known that little gal since she was in diapers. Sure, Mike, yeah. I, uh, just wish that I could have gotten to have a go on time. You did what you could, and I'm grateful. See you, Dick. Glad you're on our side. Mike out. Get low on ammo. Hey, did someone pick her up? Hey, Dick, yeah, she's fine. A little traumatized, but I guess no more than anyone else. Well, I guess we all know what it's like to lose someone. Yeah, I guess we do. I'm just gonna grab some shot eye. Ready to go back at it. <clears throat> hey, did someone pick her up? Hey, Deke, yeah, she's fine. A little traumatized, but I guess no more. I guess we all know what it's like to lose someone. Yeah, I guess we do. Yeah, see you, Ricky. Fuel can. Yeah, Addy, what's up? K 
Can you stop by the infirmary when you get a chance? Anything wrong? No, I just need to talk to you. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. What can I get for you? How's the bike business going, Sandy? Stuff's getting scarce. <laughs> See ya. 